One piece of high strangeness captured at Skinwalker Ranch dealt with the Skinwalker Ridge in Mesa, mysteriously lighting up. In January of 2018, the phenomenon was captured on film and shown in season one of the show that airs on the History Channel. On the Mesa, mysterious lights cascaded in a wave across portions of the southern region. Some of the desert lit up while others remained dark. It occurred just before 2 a.m. I've been on the ranch during those early morning hours and let me tell you, the area is pitch black. Without a flashlight, you can't see your hand in front of your face if you held it up. So what was the light source? The phenomenon is an amazing sight to witness. Is it a paranormal event? And if not, how could it have happened? Well, let's discuss that. After two years of testing several different hypotheses, I believe that Chris Bartell and I have found the true reason why this occurs. You're looking at one of the several variables required to make this phenomenon take place. There are certain dark colored rocks found all over parts of the mesa. Certain spots on the mesa have large deposits of these rocks. When viewing the rocks during the daytime, they have a minor shine to them, but nothing that would make one believe they could light up a hillside in the middle of the night. But then something was accidentally observed. It was a turning point in figuring out one part of the equation for the mysterious lights at Skinwalker Ranch. Chris Bartell and I were wearing our sunglasses while getting ready to drive away from the Mesa in his pickup truck. The sunglasses are one of two UV filters required to see how the light outside made the rocks come to life and shimmer in several rich colors. This is the window that I was looking out of in Chris Bartell's truck. It had UV filtered tint. Those are the rocks on the Mesa. The double polarized filters of our sunglasses on our face and looking out of the tinted windows caused all the rocks to shine bright purple, blue, and pink with the noonday sun beating down on the Mesa. Unfortunately, I could not capture the effect on my GoPro since I could only point the GoPro out through the single tinted window filter. Now as one moves their head, or as a truck would move, it appeared during the day that outside was a sea of brilliant colors moving in waves across the ground. The only problem was what was the light source in the middle of the night that could cause this effect on the Mesa and Skinwalker Ridge? How could the rocks be lit in such a large area as was seen in season one of the television show? And what was acting as a filter to the light? So for months, I looked around and watched the Mesa and Ridge from different distances, angles, and times of day. I did observe the phenomenon once more, but still the light source eluded me. Then I happened to be looking south of Skinwalker Ranch and realized that many large semi-trucks were coming out of the oil fields south-southwest of the property. You can see several of the fields in this photo. These large trucks flow through this area near the ranch 24-7. The area is pretty much surrounded by the oil and gas industry. Notice the roads exiting the oil fields and the two main roads that are mostly used by these trucks near the ranch. I have the two roads marked 1 and 2. Here you can see Skinwalker Ranch from one of those main roads. You can easily see a line of sight to the Mesa and Ridge Line. This is a zoomed in view from the second main road south of Skinwalker Ranch. You're looking at a part of the Mesa and Skinwalker Ridge in this photo. Now notice the large semi trucks coming out of the oil fields and onto one of the two main roads. I wanted you to see what they look like and the best way was to do that during the day. In this photo, I'm standing at the south fence line of Skinwalker Ranch. Notice as this semi moved east to west, I monitored it traveling at 27 miles per hour per the KA band radar gun that I was using. That slow speed would match how fast the wave of light was seen traveling across the Mesa in 2018. Here is an enlarged view of additional semi trucks using the main roads. Well, Late one night, I watched these trucks and monitored the Mesa. I observed what had to be one of the trucks traveling on one of the two roads to the southwest of the ranch, and it had what I believe were xenon bulb headlights with their high beams on. When it turned onto a north-south road, 
The lights from the truck created the Mesa lights to appear. It seemed like a wave of lights were traveling across the Mesa and Skinwalker Ridge. The effect I observed was not as large as what was captured in 2018, but it may be because of the location I was at. Since I was just west of the Skinwalker Ranch property, I believe I was only able to observe the initial west side of the Mesa light up before it continued away from me. I also believe that the portion of the road the truck was at was slightly higher in elevation than the fields in front of the ranch. Xenon high intensity discharge bulbs that put off a blue tint. The lights appear to mimic the polarized filters used during the daytime to see the rock shine. There's a lot of high strangeness taking place at Skinwalker Ranch. I've seen some of this firsthand. I know for a fact that the rocks are one variable in producing the light wave across the mesa. The lights I saw that one night had to be from a semi-truck with something other than halogen bulbs. Other trucks with their lights did not produce this effect. Another thing, not many large trucks turn from that specific area onto the main road during the night. I was too far away to see the vehicle. I only had time to observe the lights at the road before turning to inspect the Mesa. So it is very possible that the bluish light source I saw could have been something other than a truck. If you believe the light source to be something different, please leave a comment so we can discuss it. I'm open to there having been another variable involved. Please subscribe to my YouTube page. Stay tuned for several new presentations coming out in the next two or three weeks. Take care.